You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you You'd be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Take my eyes off you I love you baby And if it's quite alright I need you baby To warm the lonely nights I love you baby Trust in me when I say Oh pretty baby Don't bring me down I pray Oh pretty baby Now that I've found you stay Oh let me love you Let me love you You're just too good to be true Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a great day and I'm playing Can't Take My Eyes Off You by Frankie Valli. Now you're gonna to need to grab your capo for this one, put it on fret two. A few things you need to know about it. I've done my best to figure out the strings at the beginning that happen with that little lick. So you've got that in tab format that you can get for free at the website. Due to copyright, I can't put the words and chords up there for you, but you will find them on reputable websites. Uh, so the other thing I've got is that little lick that, you know, the da -na. Now you could sing that lick, of course you could. And I considered singing it. And then I was like, no, I'm just gonna do it on guitar and give you a little lick that you can play on guitar as well. But you could do both if you wanted to. There's a ton of chords in this and there's a key change that I left it hanging on my performance there into the key change. Let's get started learning how to play it. This lesson's gonna be in four parts. There's gonna be the intro, and then there's gonna be the chords that I'm gonna teach you to be able to play the majority of the song. There's then gonna be the lick, the da 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 we're gonna do that. And then finally, there's gonna be the key change, uh, which is all the chords again, but up half a step anyway. I'll show you what that means. So please make sure you've got your capo on fret two. I'm just gonna make sure I've got my music. Uh, and we're gonna get started. We're starting with fret two on the B and the E string, and fret three with the middle finger on the G string, okay? So it's like a little mini bar chord. I don't recommend you do it like this. It's a great introduction to getting started on your bars. And with this, we're doing finger style guitar. So we're gonna do a pinch with the top string to get this E note. So this is an E over F sharp is the name of the chord, okay? And it's the triad of the F sharp. So that's these three notes. And it gives us this discordant sound, which is kind of, it's weird because it's a romantic song, but it starts off really eerie and strange. And I think that this chord sounds quite nice on the guitar. So we're pinching the E, G, B, and E string with thumb, index, middle, and ring. Okay, you do it twice. Then you're gonna change that chord to the minor equivalent, which is you just extend your bar finger up to here. So this is an F sharp minor over E. So you can just see I've gone from this, moving this so I'm barring the bottom three strings and pinching that twice. So that's the beginning. The strings are sort of holding there. Then there's this. So this little lick is the D and the E string. You're going to be pinching those two together. Then third fret on the B string with, I like to use the ring finger, then middle finger on fret two on the B. Then go back to the three. Then open on the thinnest string. Second fret on the thinnest string. I'll do it slowly. And it repeats like I've just done. Now if you wanted to, it's not on the tab, but you could put an extra pinch on when you go to the two. But that's up to you. Now coming straight from that after you've done it twice, you're going instantly back to the first chord we learned. It takes a bit of practice. 
into this again. A bit of practice that I need to do. <laughs> into that. And again. And then we do the lick again, but it has a slightly different ending. So we do the pinch, three, two, three, open on E, and then second fret on E. And the rhythm is. And that leads us into when you start singing, okay? Okay, very good. So that's your intro. And I really think that adds a nice bit of something to the song rather than just going straight into the vocal. Okay, so I hope you enjoy that. As you've done that, you then sing, you're just two, and on the word good, you're gonna strum a D chord. Now, you'll have to bear with me. There is a considerable amount of chords in this song. So I'm gonna take you through them all. The chords will be on screen as well to help you out in chord boxes. So the first chord is a D. This is all relative to capo on fret two, okay? But the shapes are the same as if whether there was a capo there or not, right? So D, second fret on the G string, second fret on the E, and third fret on the B, and strum the bottom five, four strings. And now would be a good time also to talk to you about the rhythm. Now the rhythm in this song is gonna stay the same. And I just keep a nice simple rhythm pattern going because this isn't an acoustic guitar song. It's done with um, sort of like a full band almost actually. Uh, so down, down, up, up, down, up. So I'm using the classic chill out pattern. I'll do it really slowly. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss up. Up, down, up. Now for every chord that I call out, we're going to be doing that pattern twice, okay? So coming back to joining into the lick, so from the intro into the first chord. Make your D. You're just too down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Can't take my... On the word eyes, we're going to change to a D major 7. Now a really simple way of doing the D major seven is a little bit like the chord we had earlier, actually, where we're barring the bottom three strings, the G, B, and E, with the index finger. But this time we're strumming the bottom four strings rather than doing a pinch with the thickest string, which will turn it into something else, okay? So for this, we're gonna be strumming just the bottom four like we did with the Ds, but this is your D major seven. This is the rhythm of down, down, up, up, down, up. Take my D major 7 off of you You'd be like Now, on the word heaven to touch We've got a D suspended 4th Not quite as difficult as it sounds But bear with me on this So fret 1 on the B string Fret 2 on the G string With the middle finger And pinky finger on fret 3 On the thinnest string Not to be confused with a D minor Which would be these fingers round the other way so please be careful with that. Um, so this is your D sus seven suspended fourth. Okay, once again, two bars of that. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And I wanna hold you goes into a G chord. Fret two on the A string, fret three on the thickest string, and fret three on the thinnest string. Obviously all with relative to the capo. This being zero, one, two, three, etc with this same rhythm. From here, we're gonna to go to a G minor. Now, for those of you that know your bar chords, it would be much better for you to do your G as a bar chord, and then when you go to your minor, just lift up the middle finger. For those of you that don't, this is a good practice changing from an open chord of G that you know into a bar chord. So the G minor, we're barring fret three on the all, all the strings, Ring and pinky finger is up on the A and the D string. I label the strings Eddie 8, Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, in case you're not sure. And we're strumming all six strings to get this sound. And with this, I've noticed I'm using my middle finger to support, to help with the bar finger. You can do that, that makes it a little bit easier. Same rhythm. If that's too difficult for you, then you can just play the bottom three strings to do your G minor or make a G minor triad. It doesn't sound as good, but if it's too difficult for you to do that, you can do it this way, okay? So let's have a quick recap of where we're at so far. You're just too D, D. 
can't take my D major 7 D major 7 You'd be like D7 suspended 4th <laughs> I want a G so much Could be a bar chord for your G At long last G minor's arrived G minor Okay, so the G is a bar chord If you fancy having a try at that It's the same as what we've got with the G minor But with the middle finger down on the 4th fret on the G string Okay, and we've got up to I thank God I'm alive. So this is a D chord. D I'm alive. Then we move to an E chord. Now from here, pretty easy change. Lift up the middle and ring, slide your index finger down to fret one on the G string and middle finger on fret two on the A and ring finger on fret two on the D. Strum all six strings. Now this is the one time where you do that E chord just for one pass of the rhythm pattern. So down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you're gonna change it to an E minor just by lifting up your index finger. There's your E minor. And you just do that for one bar, okay? So we've got one E, one E minor. Can't take my then back to D off of you. Two of those. Now, in my performance in the beginning, I then went straight into the ba -na -ba, but what actually happens in the song is you then just do another pass of the chords with different lyrics, okay? So if I just go from the E and then I'll recap everything, call out, sing out the chords, and then you'll have a firm grasp there of the rhythm and the chords needed to sing and play this excellent song. So I'm gonna go from the E to, to be true, E minor, can't take my D off of you. Pardon the D that I stand, D. There's nothing D major 7 to compare. The side of you, D suspended fourth, leaves me weak. There are no G left to speak, G. So if you G minor like I feel, please let me D that it's real, D. You're just too E to be true, E minor. I can't take my D off of you. And from this time, then we're in to the lick. Now the lick, I'm just gonna play you just the first part of it, here we go. So first of all, the thing to understand is, in terms of changing into it from the D chord, so you do your D as normal, then you're into it straight away. Now just lift up your middle and ring finger, slide the index finger up to fret three on the G string. This gives you the note of A sharp, which is helpful. You're gonna pinch the E string just to get a little bit of bass going so you're not just playing the lick completely naked. And you're gonna pinch with thumb and index, then middle finger on four. Then repeat that with another pinch. So it's three, four, three, four. Then you're gonna do three, four again, but with the A string on the pinch. So move your thumb down to the A. Then move your index finger down to three on the B, st B string and pinch the A string and that string you're holding down. Then move down to two with the index and then ring finger on four on the G string. Okay, so I'll do the riff really slowly, calling out the numbers. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three on B, two on B, four on the G. Again. Okay, it's about to go round again with exactly the same three fours, but the bass notes are different. So we're still doing three, four, but this time it's on the D string, your bass notes. So your thumb's gonna drop down here. You're gonna pinch, thumb and index. Three, four. Then you're gonna find the second fret on the A string as your next bass note here. There's no, um, there's no unfortunately low B that we can use. That's open, unfortunately. And then we're gonna go, this is the two here, and three again on the G string, three, pinching two and three, then four, 
then move the middle finger down to three on the B string, then slide the middle finger down to two, and then pinky on four, okay? So I'll do the second part of this riff really slowly, D string on your pinch, three, four, three, four, find two on the D string, on the, on the A string, sorry, then move the middle to four, then move the middle finger down to the three, then two, then the pinky on the four. One last time. Then you repeat, going round again, exactly like we did at the beginning of the riff, so it's the open thickest string, three, four, three, four, open A string, three, four, three, two, four, then the open D string, four, three, four, then B7. Okay, so the B7 strum, which by the way is first fret on the D string, second fret on the A string, second fret on the G, and second fret also on the E, strumming the bottom five. That sets you up for the and you're off into your vocal there at that point, right? Now, if you're singing and playing it, which I'm presuming you are, it's quite challenging to do that. So really work on that. You could sing the riff. And let me just show you what you could do with singing the riff. So rather than playing it, you could do E minor, then A, then D, then B minor, E minor, A, D, then B minor, or B7, I think sounds better than the B minor to end on. So notice I was doing it for just one pass of, of the rhythm pattern, okay? And I'll, I'll sing it this time. So this is what you could do if you were vocalizing the lick rather than playing the lead guitar with a bit of finger style. E minor, E minor, A, 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 D, 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 B minor, and E minor, E minor, A, 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 D, 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 B7, I love you. So that's what you could do, or you could do the lick. Now you can get the lick and the intro, you can get the tab, I've written that out for you. It's available for free at learnguitarinlondon.com. I've put a link in the video right now and there's a link in the video description. Okay, so from here, we get into the chorus, okay? So this is an E minor. And most of this chorus is just one rhythm pattern. So down, down, up, up, down, up. So it's E minor first, then that moves to an A7. That's fret two on the D string and fret two on the B string. So it's E minor, up, A7. F sharp minor seven after that. So you're barring fret two, all six strings, ring finger on fret four on the A string on fret four. Then to a B minor seven, it's a pretty easy change from here. Just move the ring finger down one fret and put your middle finger on fret three on the B string. Strum the bottom five for that. The F sharp minor seven, it's the bottom four. So, so far we've got E minor minor and A seven. I need you F sharp minor seven to want the B minor seven. I love, and then carrying on, I love you E minor. A7 again, to me when I D. Then that B7 chord again. Now on this B7, I fill in the rhythm a little bit. I go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And I crescendo, I get it, make it louder so that we get that lovely little build. I'll just go back a minute. Trust me when I say. Here's the B7. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So I just put all the down ups in there, okay? One and two and three and E minor. Then we're gonna go round again. E minor, A7, no oh pretty F sharp minor seven. And B minor seven, let me E minor, E minor. Now the rhythm here, I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm changing from an E minor to a C7, which is setting us up on the key change for the next part in the song. OK, 
Okay, so there's quite a lot to this song, isn't there? Right, so from this E minor, we're gonna move to a C7. So index finger on fret one on the B string, middle finger on fret two on the D string, and ring finger on fret three on the A. And the pinky finger that's spare is gonna go on fret three on the G string. So you're gonna be changing from E minor to C7. So a real workout, not just on your licks, but also on your chords as well, okay? There's quite a lot of chords in this. And then for the singing advice, try to find, if you pick fret one on the B string, which you'll see seven's holding down, you're just two, which you'll see I did in the video, and that's so I can find my key, you're just too good to be true, when we go into the key change. So into the key change, you're just too F. Now with your F, you're gonna be barring um, the first fret with your index finger, middle ring and pinky finger on fret two on the G string and fret three on the A and the D. Back to that same rhythm of holding it for two passes of the rhythm pattern. So F. Can't take my to an F major seven from here, okay? Now you could do it that way actually from your bar chord but instead we'll keep it we'll keep it simple we'll play fret three on the g string fret two on fret three on the d string fret two on the g and fret one on the b strumming the bottom four strings down down up that's f major seven you'd feel like to an f7 from there so that's the same as the f chord that we had earlier but just lifting up the pinky so you've got the full bar on fret one fret two on the g string and fret three on the A string. Two on there. I wanna. To an A sharp from here. Now I think the best way to achieve this A sharp is just keeping your bar finger down and making an A shape chord. So that is fret three on the D, G and B string. From here you're going to an A sharp minor. So think of your B minor chord that you might know, just move down to fret one. So that's the bar staying in the same place on fret two on the B string and fret uh, three on the D and the G. That goes back to F. I'll give you a recap in just a moment. You're just two, then we're gonna go to a G. To be true, G minor. Can't take my F off of you. Okay, so at this point, you're going to be, I'll just take you through that order of chords and I'll sing them out as we go. You're just to F to be true. Can't take my F major seven off you. You'd be like F seven to touch. I wanna A sharp you so much. At long last, A sharp minor has arrived. And I thank F I'm alive You're just too G to be true G minor Can't take my eyes off of you Okay, good so far. Now you go into another bridge and this time we're singing So this time I haven't worked out the lick in the key change moved up. If you can work it out, send it to me, drew at learnguitarinlondon.com. I'd love to see that. It's shorter, it's half the length, right? But let's compare notes, right? Because I didn't think about doing it for the key change. But we've got an E minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, B minor seven. So this is the same as your B minor that we had earlier, but just removing the ring finger to uh, open the G string up. Down, down, up. And then we strum on a B minor before the I love you, baby. Okay, and then going through into the chorus, this last chorus, we've got an E minor and then an A7, F sharp minor seven, so the same as before, B minor seven, A minor, A7, D, B7. And that just goes on indefinitely. One thing I've noticed is that there's a key change up a half step in the verse three, but then the bridge actually 
seems to, the um, the chorus goes back to the original key when you get to it. So it's just the same chords around again and again. Now this one fades out this song. So that means that if you're singing this at a party or singing it for friends or whatever, it could be a little tricky to know how to finish it. But I would finish it with the way that I finished it in the record. So that would, on the record, at the intro, right? Pretty baby, now that I found you stay So instead of finishing on the C7, finish on an A7. On you and finish high like that, unresolved. And if you're doing a set, that would be a good time to go into another song. So finish on the A7 and that will give you a nice close for this tune, okay? It's been a long lesson, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Keep on playing.